What's up guys? Today on Robbie's Reviews, I am in the 2019 Rolls-Royce Wraith. But this isn't just any ordinary Wraith. It is actually the 2019 Pebble Beach Show Car, and it is a black badge, fully bespoke, customized by Rolls-Royce. And right now, it's available at H. Greg Lux in Pompano Beach, Florida. I can't thank them enough for allowing me to take the Wraith out today to review it, see what it's like to drive, and to show you guys all of its cool and amazing luxury features and technology. So let's go check it out. All right, guys, here she is, the 2019 Rolls-Royce Wraith Black Badge. And like I was saying before, this is the Pebble Beach edition. This is the car that was at Pebble Beach in 2019. Rolls-Royce built this car for the show. They wanted to show off uh, just how bespoke and uh, customizable their cars are. And I think they've done a pretty good job at that here. And uh, this example is finished in Midnight Sapphire over Selby Gray and Navy Blue interior. Now something you're gonna see a lot of on this Wraith is this amazing lime green color, starting with the coach line here, which is hand painted by a man with the world's most steady hands. Goes all the way down the length of the car, uninterrupted, all the way to the back and ends right here at the taillight. And then some more of those green accents are actually painted around the Rolls Royce logo, the ring here and the center cap. And something pretty cool about these center caps is they actually float so whenever the car is going at any speed, the Rolls-Royce logo will always stay upright. Just a little attention to detail there. And uh, something I want to point out on these wheels is that they are the regular uh, black badge wheels. However, they are carbon fiber. So you have to really get in there to look. But they are, yes, carbon fiber wheels. And they look absolutely spectacular. The whole barrel is carbon fiber. And then you have the face here in this nice machine silver with the uh, gloss black so it's full polished face and of course the lime green accent just an overall gorgeous wheel and it's the same thing up front and you have those massive Rolls-Royce brakes sitting behind so first I want to explain what the black badge means in Rolls-Royce so for years now Rolls-Royce has watched many of their customers uh, mostly uh, younger customers but nonetheless they've watched their customers buy their cars and uh, customize them by either blacking out the grills, the trim, changing out the spirit of ecstasy, uh, either wrapping it or painting it, uh, putting aftermarket wheels on it, very flamboyant wheels, putting all different kinds of wraps and even painting the cars. So Rolls-Royce figured, why can't we do that? So they came out with the black badge, which is also on the Dawn and the Ghost, and it is a $47,000 option. And for that money, you basically get a blacked out Rolls-Royce Wraith. So the Parthenon grill here, is this cool black chrome here you have the rolls royce logo and you even have a blacked out spirit of ecstasy in this like black chrome here and along with the trim down here in the bottom of the bumper is also black chrome and then coming back to the wheels we were talking about earlier uh this is another black badge option you see these are actually have carbon fiber elements in them and this custom green striping that also follows all the way down the body with the coach line and then on the side here where the turn signal is you actually have a black rolls royce logo it's another little touch that the black badge receives. And then all the window trim, basically the entire window frame here is gloss black. And it's the same treatment on the taillights. So the taillight bezels are also gloss black. We have this whole trim piece back here with the Rolls Royce logo in the middle that's blacked out. And it's the same thing with the exhaust tips. They're nice gloss black. So you might be asking yourself, why would I pay $47,000? for a bunch of blacked out trim that I could have otherwise done myself for, for uh, much cheaper, if not for free. So it doesn't just stop there. When you open the suicide doors, the rear hinge doors on the Rolls Royce Wraith, and once you step inside, you can see that the level of customization that is possible for the Rolls Royce Wraith black badge, or really any Rolls Royce black badge, is really unmatched when it comes to other cars. So while I'm not gonna jump into the interior quite just yet, I just wanna kinda gloss over some of the uh, unique features inside the interior. For one, uh, that lime green accenting I was talking about earlier on the exterior with the uh, coach line and then the accent on the wheels continues on to the amazing fully leather wrapped steering wheel, the entire inner part of the rim here, and then all the contrast stitching on the dashboard as well as this uh, inner part here, the insert, as well as these like tubes or uh, piping on the seats with these uh, actual chrome little bezels or trim here. All the contrast stitching on the seat here is that same lime green accent. I don't know the actual name of the color, but I'm sure I can find that out. And you can see, just because you reach the uh, actual edge of the interior or where it just goes to the uh, door jam here, uh, the quality does not stop. You have this kind of like velvet material here. The leather with the stitching continues all the way to the edges. 
a very unique weave of carbon fiber on the dashboard instead of where there would be a massive wood panel as well as on the center console here you have a very unique weave of carbon fiber that actually continues to the back seat here and uh, you may see a strange reflection a green reflection that is so instead of the typical starlight headliner being white or whatever color it is usually like a warm white uh, it's actually green in this car so that goes along with the theme of this vehicle and like I was saying before this black badge Wraith is a Pebble Beach 2019 Special Commission. So this was the show car. It has just about 3,000 miles on it. And um, it is basically as high a spec as you can go on a Rolls Royce Wraith, especially a black badge. And you can see there the infinity symbol in the back. They're on the back seat. This shows up a few more times around the car. Uh, that signifies that this vehicle is a black badge, the infinity symbol there. You can actually see it again over here where it would normally say Wraith. It has the Infinity logo for Black Badge, the Rolls Royce uh, logo there, the clock, more of that amazing carbon fiber trim, along with the lime green accenting. So you guys can see that the interior quality is really just unmatched. And to be honest, while I'm not sure you can actually customize the interior of a Rolls Royce more than this has, I mean, as Rolls Royce actually did this themselves just to show off what they're capable of, I'm sure you can mix and match. And I've seen other Black Badges with different interiors, like a solid purple interior, or all red. So this is really just a show car that was made. Um, no one person spec'd this out and, and bought it or just uh, backed away from the deal at the, at the last minute. This is just Rolls Royce showing off what they're capable of and they really did in my opinion. So now we're gonna close the door back up for the time being before we step back inside. Just uh, continuing to walk around the car. One of the things I love about the Wraith is its teardrop design, which was kind of controversial in the beginning when it first came out in around 2016. I just love how the body kind of tapers off at the back here into the trunk. It's just a, such a timeless design, straight out of the 30s and 40s. And uh, speaking of the trunk, there's actually a couple different ways you can open it. There's a button inside the car to open the trunk. You have the massive key fob here. I wish you guys could feel just how heavy this is. It's probably almost one pound, I'm not even joking. You have the Rolls Royce logo there. You have a couple buttons here. You have one with the Spirit of Ecstasy on it in the middle. That's to lock the car. Then you have one with a little triangle on the top, that's to unlock it. You have one with a little square, that's to open the trunk. As you can see, it's a very sizable trunk. I've got my uh, camera bags in here and stuff. You have a little Rolls Royce uh, pouch or bag here. You have some storage. It is also the thickest carpet that I've ever felt in a trunk. It is absolutely amazing. Whatever you put back here is going to be very comfortable. Not saying you should put a person back here, but whatever you put back here in general is gonna definitely be fine rolling around. And it's funny, something you don't see on a lot of cars is this little, uh, also green, little symbol here with a gas gas pump. I'm guessing that's uh, so you can pull back this little piece of carpet or panel, and that's the manual release for the gas door. Interesting that they put it there. A lot of cars, you kind of just have to look in the manual or look uh, somewhere online, but in this car, they actually have it here. And the same goes for the little emergency release lever there if someone gets stuck in the trunk or if they're kidnapped you can pull that and it would open it up and uh, one of the ways you can close the trunk is either with uh, this button here which will just close the trunk this would lock it or you can simply swipe your foot underneath and the trunk slowly goes down full power closing trunk very quiet and uh, of course you have the full length LED brake light up here, third brake light. Now speaking of the lighting, um, everything is LED on this vehicle. Full LED headlights and taillights that we're actually going to turn on right now. But something I want to show you guys is the old school rocker switch panel that has been on Rolls Royces easily for over 100 years now. So you know you're in a Rolls Royce when you see this awesome light switch panel here. So I believe we have to turn the ignition on. Then put the lights on. Then we'll also put the hazard lights on, which is down here. So stepping out of the wraith. But also uh, soft closed doors, of course. You wouldn't expect anything less. Starting at the uh, fender here, you have those blacked out uh, Rolls Royce badging here, and then you also have the uh, LED turn signal. Of course, you have the LED side markers with Rolls-Royce's side view camera system. 
So these uh, cameras, one here and one on the other side, are actually used to see either out of a parking spot or if you're trying to turn an intersection, it will help you see out, as this is a very, very long hood. And uh, you actually have integrated LED turn signals, they're amber turn signals, in these little sections in the bumper. So they're completely separate from the headlights, which are full LED. You have this LED daytime running light, DRL, with this uh, LED projector, which actually has a cool like blue purple effect at night. Then you have the high beams, cornering lights, just a very clean look, nice and bright. And of course you have things like your full color reconfigurable heads up display and the dashboard, as well as your lane keeping assist camera. Now one thing the Wraith hasn't adopted yet is Rolls Royce's flag bearer camera system, which is uh, two stereoscopic 3D cameras that are up in the windshield and they'll actually read the road and adjust the suspension accordingly. So that's in the Cullinan, uh, the Phantom and the new Ghost. So coming back to the taillights here, um, there is no amber turn signals. It's similar to a lot of other Rolls Royce models. It's just a red, one giant red turn signal and then the uh, daytime running light on the outside and you have a little LED side marker and the reverse light is right in here. But they look very nice, very clean, especially with the uh, black bezel and the trim going around here. I love that as part of the black badge uh, option. So right now we're going to turn off the headlights and taillights. I'm going to show you guys that massive 6.6 .6 liter twin turbocharged V12. Put the headlights back to auto. Hazard lights off. So the hood pull is all the way under here. Close the door. And what's pretty cool is like other Rolls Royce models that I've reviewed, the hood kind of stops just short of the bumper and the spirit of ecstasy uh, will never go up in the air. It'll always stay on the front of the car, front and center. And actually one more thing I forgot to point out is uh, this trim that's in the middle of the hood that runs all the way down kind of in this channel, a little valley, is also blacked out, part of the black badge package. And now opening up this giant hood, you have an equally giant 6.6 .6 liter twin turbocharged V12 that produces 624 horsepower. And uh, if this were a regular Wraith, it would produce only 605 pound-feet of torque. However, this being a black badge, it produces a mighty 642 pound-feet. So while the horsepower stays the same for the Wraith, um, you do get extra torque if you get a black badge. So that's a nice incentive. And um, this is actually, according to Rolls-Royce, the most powerful and the fastest Rolls-Royce ever built. Now, definitely don't have a doubt about that. I recently drove the new Phantom. That's obviously a big behemoth of a car and it's not slow for what it is, but it's also very heavy, not sporty at all. And also, while sporty is not a word I would associate with any Rolls-Royce, if there was going to be a sporty uh, Rolls Royce, it would have to be this Wraith Black Badge, or really just the Wraith in general. Um, it does have more uh, fine tuning as far as the suspension goes for cornering. While it is going to be still extremely comfortable to drive, uh, the chassis response is going to be better, and the overall driving dynamics is going to be nicer than it would uh, in a regular chauffeur style Rolls Royce. As this Wraith, especially the Black Badge, is uh, a Rolls Royce that's meant to be driven, not driven in. So with that being said, just can, continuing to look around the car. I gotta say, while this dark blue was really not my cup of tea, no pun intended, you can see that amazing silhouette with the teardrop shape. And another cool little feature is if you leave your spirit of ecstasy up and you're in a rough neighborhood or you're somewhere where people like to uh, seal badges or hood ornaments off cars, and you remember that you left your priceless spirit of ecstasy out, especially being a black badge, this is a special black spirit of ecstasy. Uh, someone goes to steal it, and they either lose a finger or they pull their hand away just in time before the Spirit of Ecstasy violently retracts into the hood or the front bumper. And just like that, your Spirit of Ecstasy is safe. All right, so right now we're gonna step inside the Rolls-Royce Wraith Black Badge. Getting inside is very easy, especially with those rear hinged suicide doors. Now you must be thinking, how do I close the door? The handle's all the way out there. I don't wanna reach halfway outside the car. And just like with every other modern Rolls-Royce model, you have a couple buttons up here. One is to open and close the power trunk. Another is to close the driver's side door and the same for the passenger side if it's open. So just by holding this button here, driver door closes, soft close. And then the world seems to just go away. It is so quiet in here. The car is not running. 
But um, well, I'm going to start the car right now. I just want you guys to take note of how quiet it is in here now and how quiet it's going to be when the engine's actually running. I think you're going to be surprised. So right now we have the push start button here. We have the lovely chime when the car starts up. Let me turn down the AC real quick. So right now, the only thing I can hear is the AC, the radiator fan just for a couple seconds while the car is turning on. And uh, yeah, right now the loudest thing is the AC. I literally cannot hear the engine running. I can't even feel that the car is running. There is no vibrations, nothing whatsoever. So I guess we're gonna pick up where we left off before. Uh, starting with this amazing fully leather wrapped steering wheel. It is a complete circle, no flat bottoms and Rolls Royces. That would be too sporty. Um, you have the Rolls Royce logo kind of uh, in this glossy cover here. It's like a clear coating almost. It's like uh, inlaid into it. And you have a fully leather wrapped horn cover. This really nice uh, black trim here for the black badge. And then you have all the uh, chrome controls, but it's not plastic chrome. It's actually metal chrome, like actual metal on the steering wheel. And on the outside of the steering wheel rim, you actually have a full black leather, and you have that amazing lime green leather on the inside. And then something I've always been fascinated about with Rolls Royces is they only use cowhides that uh, don't have any imperfections. There were never no mosquito bites, no cuts or anything like that. Um, they were never in fields with uh, barbed wire, razor wire fences, so they have no scratches or anything. Uh, Rolls Royce leather is so I mean, the grain is just incredible. It's really something you have to see in person. I don't think videos and pictures do it justice, but everywhere you look, anything you think is not leather, but it's just too smooth and too flat is actually gonna be leather. Now there's actually several different uh, colors of leather in this car. You have the uh, navy blue color here, the Selby gray, which is like this nice light oyster gray. Uh, you have more of that amazing green leather here in the door pockets. I mean, everywhere that you're going to touch is basically lined in leather. Um, the same lime green accenting continues and kind of breaks out the door here. So you have more of the navy blue, selby gray to the lime green than the navy blue. You have uh, really, quite honestly, gorgeous door handles with this kind of uh, like glass backing here. I believe it lights up at night. And then you have Rolls Royce's bespoke audio system. You have these incredible laser cut speaker grills, little tweeters up there. Well, I don't want to play any music right now for copyright reasons. I rest assured that it is one of the best sound systems in the game. And of course, you have the rocker panel switches here for the headlights. And you also have your heads up display, lane keep assist, and uh, forward collision warning, pedestrian warning. Uh, you have more of that amazing carbon fiber here. And to open and close the AC vents, you have these organ poles here that go in and out. Very cool. Also, completely metal. And of course, the air vents are fully metal, as you can see by the condensation here, just like on other Rolls Royce models and Bentley models. And coming over to the gauge cluster here, while it isn't the fully digital uh, screen inside a physical bezel like the uh, Cullinan, the new Phantom, and the new Ghost has, it is pretty cool. It's actually a physical uh, gauge cluster here, and then you have half of it kind of like this little screen. So we have your uh, fuel range, your current mileage, and this vehicle has a uh, 3,300 miles on it right now. Uh, your park reverse neutral drive, which is actually the stock for it, is over here. So if you go into drive, then one up two for reverse, which brings up your reverse camera. Sorry about the uh, flickering right now. I'll try to fix that. There we go. So you have active guidance lines. And then once you put it into drive, you can actually use the uh, BMW iDrive or Rolls Royce controller down here to go through your camera views. So there you have your rear view and your side views there. But if you put it into drive, it's already in drive. If you press this little camera button here next to the uh, parking assist and the hold button and the uh, electronic parking brake, brings up just your side view. So there are little guidance lines. They don't actually move, but you have a little picture of the Wraith here and kind of showing what it's uh, displaying on the cameras. And uh, you can see that bush there's a little bit of a blind spot but if there were, if i was in traffic trying to cross an intersection or trying to come out of a spot i would be able to see what's going down both sides of the aisle or coming down the road pretty cool and then putting it into park go back to the gauge cluster here of course you have the little uh orange lines there that denotes that the lane keep assist system is on 
then we have the button to change the uh, media interface so we have mm and actually reflects up there in the gauge cluster i'm not sure if you guys can see that so right now we're going satellite radio and you will notice just like other rolls royce models there is no tachometer instead there's a power reserve gauge so right now it says 100 percent power reserve and then if we step on the gas So it has quite the rev limiter on it, so it only uh, revs to about 80 or 90% in park. Um, so if we press this button again, exits the camera system. Well, we're still in the camera system. So down here, if we go to menu, you have, it's not touchscreen like the newer Rolls Royces. However, you have uh, a lot of different options. It is BMW iDrive, but it's been reskinned for Rolls Royce. So it looks very elegant. Let's see, you have my vehicle, vehicle settings. Exterior lighting, doors, key, speed warning, vehicle tracking. Another cool one is Spirit of Ecstasy has its own little uh, menu tab here. So you can either raise or lower it or have it be automatic. So right now, if I were to lower it, just hit on the menu here, lower. Spirit of Ecstasy goes down. You can raise it up again. And what's pretty cool is uh, these hotkeys here, they're not just pretty clear glass looking buttons like the uh, door handle backing here, but they're actually touch sensitive and they are your shortcut buttons. So basically you can assign them, but by default, eight is the uh, spirit of ecstasy. So you can press, just by pressing eight, you lower it, press it again, you raise it. Pretty cool. And coming down, you have more of those metal air vents here, more of that amazing carbon fiber trim, that contrast stitching on the Selby gray. Um, pretty much everything in this car is just exquisite premium materials. Even the little radio knob here, the volume control knob, is wrapped in leather. Even what little plastic there is in this car is still nice. All these buttons here, they are plastic, but it's just very premium looking and feeling buttons. Very solid. We've got more of that green contrast stitching down here. The actual air conditioning knobs are also leather wrapped. But instead of just like off, low, and high and all that, it'll say soft, medium, high, and then max. And uh, this car does have the optional, I think it's like $2,700 or $2,500 uh, heated and cooled seats, ventilated seats. Um, it has its own panel here. And each gets its own button. You can have it on at the same time. Pretty cool. Just a pretty big panel just for heated and cooled seats. Same thing on the other side. And um, even this little rotator down here for the uh, interior temperature is also wrapped in leather. So everything you're going to touch is going to feel nice. You have all the recirculator, frosters, and stuff like that. Or that amazing carbon fiber trim. But you can actually open this. You have your cup holders. There's a little slot for your key. Coming down here, you have your hazard lights, uh, the central locking. You have your vehicle air suspension settings. Right now, it's in the lowest setting. You can actually raise it up, too. We'll leave it in the lower setting. And then here we have, uh, yes, it's basically BMW iDrive, but it works. Uh, traditionally, Rolls-Royce infotainment and uh, electronics is really not that great. So they went to the Germans, and being that BMW owns Rolls-Royce, they figured why not use their uh, very nice infotainment system. So you have your media, communications, your map, very nice clear uh, navigation map. It's not, it's not uh, touchscreen once again, but you can use the little rotator thing near the rotator wheel to zoom in and out. And let's see what else. You can just go to navigation, enter an address, you have your options. And what's pretty funny is in here, you have his and hers ashtrays with a cigarette lighter. Everything's metal, everything feels great. Then you have a center console, press this metal button. We have a little area for a phone. I'm not sure where the phone is or what actually goes in there, but uh, you do have ample storage in there. It's also lined in this nice belt or velvet, whatever it is, feels great. Closing that. Well, I'm not gonna get into the back seat. Um, I will show you that uh, these same ashtrays are in the back here, as well as cup holders and a pretty sizable center console. And here you see the Spirit of Ecstasy embossed on the headrest. Very nice little touch, but it's definitely an option. Now, the back seat looks just as opulent as the front seat. Obviously, being a driver's Rolls Royce, you're really not going to stick people back there. Maybe kids or groceries or pets and whatever, but very nice attention to detail throughout. And this lime green accenting stripe goes all the way around the rear of the car just under the infinity symbol there for black badge 
and you can see the reflection of that amazing green starlight headliner which looks absolutely spectacular I don't see any of uh, the shooting stars I'm not sure if that was available on the Wraith or if it's an option for this car but nonetheless the green starlight headliner looks awesome and I would love to see what this looks like at night maybe I can get this car to a dark area later and I can show you guys what the headliner really looks like but continuing on with the headliner, aside from the green starlight effect, you also have a fully leather wrapped headliner. Um, even the little Bluetooth microphones are, are uh, metal. We have the uh, metal on the visor here, nice LED that turns on, the mirror also fully leather wrapped. One of my favorite things in this car, the uh, grab handles here are uh, lined in that same lime green leather and the little mounting pieces here are also metal. Uh, the pillars also fully wrapped in uh, leather. And continuing up into the roof here, we have some dome lighting. Some nice LED lighting there. Leave that turns on the whole front part. There we go. And then opening the door turns on everything. And what's pretty funny is when the door is open on a regular car, it'll show the door going uh, the right way where the hinges are in the front here. But in this car, it shows that the door is hinged at the rear. And then to close it, you simply just press that button. It's pretty cool. This uh, green contrast stitching with the uh, green inserting here, this lime green, is really just unreal. It looks so good with the navy blue. And then you have the Selby gray accents everywhere. This is honestly a really well specced out car. And I know it's, it was actually Rolls Royce themselves that built the car for Pebble Beach in 2019. But um, th honestly, if I, was, if I had the money for a Black Badge Wraith, I would probably spec it very, very closely to this, if not the same exact color scheme. Definitely a gorgeous interior. And honestly, I've driven other Rolls Royces before. I've reviewed other Rolls Royces and I've spent lots of time with these cars and they just never cease to amaze me. Uh, you never get in one that looks just like the last one you were in. They're all unique in their own ways. And according to Rolls Royce, no two Rolls Royces are the same. And honestly, I believe that. Not that, not that you really see that many of them as it is, but the ones that you do see, definitely unique in their own ways. Close these panels up. See more of that amazing carbon fiber. I really love this carbon fiber weave. It's very, very unique. It's not too sporty. It almost looks like a, a classy carbon fiber weave, if that's even a thing. And uh, this button here, you can press that and it turns off the screen. And I believe when the car shuts off, this panel comes down. It's supposed to uh, have more of the same like carbon fiber, or if it was wood, it would be more wood there. Um, let's see what else here. Oh yeah, it's kind of funny. So this car does not have a sport mode like Bentleys do. Instead, it has a low mode. So you hit low and I guess it goes into low gear and that's Rolls Royce's sport mode but honestly in this car you don't need to adjust anything maybe the height of the air suspension that's about it you get in you just drive you forget about everything that's going on in your life all the problems just seems to go away and just like every other Rolls Royce that I've reviewed it's not just a regular luxury car you get in and you just feel like you're in something special something uh, more than your typical luxury car I mean this car just has more of everything Rolls-Royce did not skimp on the quality, the fit and finish, the craftsmanship is really second to none. And Bentleys are like that too. You get into a new Bentley and you just it's very impressive, but there's just always been something about Rolls-Royce. I mean, these cars are made in good wood. The craftsmanship that goes into them, everything's bespoke. Everything just feels like it was made for you. And uh, when you're in these cars, you feel like the world, like just nothing in the world matters. All right, guys. So now we're gonna get the Wraith out on the road and see what it's like to drive. All right, guys, right now I am driving the 2019 Rolls-Royce Wraith Black Badge. This is a very, very special car. This is actually the first Wraith that I've ever driven. And of course, it's a Black Badge, but not just a regular Black Badge. It is the car that Rolls-Royce commissioned for Pebble Beach in 2019, the Concourse Show. And um, it is not the first Rolls-Royce I've driven. I just reviewed recently a 2019 Rolls-Royce Cullinan that was also for sale at H. Greg Lux. Uh, I've driven and reviewed the new Phantom, the Phantom 8. Hopefully going to get my hands on the new Ghost soon, but for the time being, this Wraith is absolutely incredible. Um, right now, there's no sport mode or anything like in the Bentleys, but uh, I'm just cruising right now, and I don't have it in low gear mode. I guess I have it in high gear mode. And the air suspension is in its middle setting. We're going to drop it down to the lower setting. But right now, I'm taking the sweeper. It's taking it very smoothly. Um, there's not as much body roll as you'd think in a Rolls Royce, or at least I should say, Body roll doesn't act the same way in a Rolls Royce that it does a regular Wallowy car. The air suspension in this car is so finely tuned. 
and the steering, I mean, almost like, it's almost like the car is steering itself. I mean, the steering is light, but that's because Rolls-Royce purposely made it light. Not like it's light, like it has no feeling, it's numb. Um, the steering feel in this car, the road feeling, it's so quiet in here. You can only hear the engine when you step on it, which I'm going to do right now. It has plenty of get up and go. Um, over 600 horsepower, over 600 pound-feet of torque. Let's see how the turning radius is. Turning radius is pretty atrocious, but that's to be expected. Uh, this car weighs over 5,000 pounds. Uh, I'm not sure what the zero to 60 is, but it is pretty quick for its size. This is supposedly the fastest Rolls Royce ever, uh, the most powerful Rolls Royce ever. And I honestly agree with that. Uh, when I drove the Cullinan, it wasn't a slouch for how big and heavy of an SUV it was, but it wasn't fast and really neither was the Phantom. This Wraith definitely is a driver's Rolls Royce. This is for the Rolls-Royce buyer that wants to drive his Rolls-Royce and not be driven in it. And um, honestly, I mean, I've got the cooled seats going right now. The air conditioning is on soft. Instead of uh, low, it's on soft. So I have my air softly blowing onto my face. There's virtually zero road noise. There's no wind noise. Um, I can see the trees blowing like crazy outside. We just had a tropical storm here. It's still very windy. I can't hear any wind. Um, can't hear the engine. Can't feel the transmission shift gears. I mean, the only thing I can hear right now is the turn signal chime and uh, the air conditioning, and that's barely. That's that's really it. Um, really, just on a, on some back roads here in a business park. Not the best quality roads. Definitely not any driving roads. But just to get a feel for how the Wraith handles and how it rides, um, it's it's really second to none. I mean, you can't get into a Rolls Royce expecting it to be anything other than perfect. While that is a bold statement, it's something you understand once you get into a Rolls Royce. And with these cars, I mean, you can talk about them all day. You can take pictures of them, put them on social media, and people can see the amazing interiors and how customizable and bespoke they can be. But to really understand what makes a Rolls Royce a Rolls Royce, you need to experience one. Even if you just ride in one, it doesn't have to be the back. It could be the front, the passenger seat. There's no bad seat in a Rolls Royce. Um, the experience for everyone in a Rolls Royce is just amazing, luxurious. Um, perfect, effortless. I mean, right now I'm just in a cul-de-sac that has a lot of tire marks. Well, I'm sure this Wraith could smoke the tires out and do some nice donuts. I'm definitely not going to do that in a $400,000 car. Um, this car is really just meant to waft and just to cruise. Um, while it is a very fast car, I've been finding myself doing 5 to 10 miles an hour under the speed limit just because the car is so enjoyable to drive and I don't want to get to my destination as quickly as I would in a regular, boring, uncomfortable car or basically anything that's not a Rolls Royce. Now, I own an S-Class, and that's an incredible car, amazing air suspension, very luxurious, way better technology that's in this car. But while this car does feel old-timey at the same time, it feels very advanced as far as uh, luxury and creature comforts goes. It doesn't have all the latest technology. However, it just does something that other cars don't. And like I was saying earlier, that's something that you need to experience in person. I can't really relate to you just how relaxing driving this car is. Um, I mean, if I step on the gas here, boy, that power reserve meter goes down to 0%. I mean, yeah, the lane keep assist comes on and all the different safety features and all that is BMW. I mean, this, this is basically on an older seven series chassis, but there's more to it than just being on an old BMW chassis. Uh, everything from the suspension tuning, the engine mounts, just all the noise cancellation, all the uh, sound deadening in the car, um, I mean, I could sit here all day and tell you just how amazing this car is, but I'd really just like to go and drive it and enjoy it. So, uh, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. All right, guys. Well, that should do it for this review of the 2019 Rolls Royce Wraith Black Badge Pebble Beach Edition. Um, once again, I just want to thank H. Greg Lux in Pompano Beach, Florida for allowing me to take this beautiful, luxurious land yacht out today to see what it's like to drive and, uh, to give it an honest review and to show you guys all the amazing luxury features in this car. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.